Okay, we're going to do a quick review of dividing polynomials, and first we're going to be doing long division. So I have this cubic being divided by the linear, so I'm going to write it out in the long division form. The 2x plus 1 is my divisor, that's the one I'm dividing by. The cubic is my dividend. I'm going to refer to those terms throughout it. I made my line a little bit too long there. All right. So remember what you want to do first is you're looking at the leading coefficients. And I want to say what's going to go up here as part of my quotient is going to be the 2, 2x times what will give me 2x cubed. So what I'm going to put there, 2 times 1 is 2, so that's fine x times x squared will be x to the third, so I'm going to put x squared up there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply that x squared back through the divisor 2x plus 1. And I'm going to write that in this line. So I have 2x cubed, when I distribute through, plus x squared. And now I'm going to combine my like terms, but first I'm actually subtracting this line. So to subtract it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the signs on them. I'm going to get rid of that plus. Let me actually erase it. And that's going to become a minus x squared. And now I just need to combine my terms. These two will cancel out. This becomes negative 10x squared. And then now I'm going to bring these down. So plus 7x plus 6. Okay? And now we start all over. You're looking at the leading coefficients, negative 10x squared, 2x. So I have 2x times negative 5x will give me negative 10x squared. So now I'm going to take that negative 5x, distribute it back through, and that's going to go in this line. Let me get rid of that. And I have negative 10x squared minus 5x. Make sure you're, you're lining them up with the uh, correct terms. Before I combine them, I'm subtracting, so I'm going to go ahead and change these signs. So these will cancel out now. And this becomes 12x. Bring my 6 down. And now, one more time, 2x times positive 6 will give me 12x. So I have 6 times 2x plus 1. That's going to go here. 12x plus 6. I need to subtract, so I'm changing the signs. That becomes a negative 6. These cancel out. These cancel out. And I have 0. Remember, what you end up with down here is your remainder. So this was a remainder of 0, which means that the 2x plus 1 was a factor of that cubic, um, and it divided into it evenly. And so my quotient, my answer, is x squared minus 5x plus 6. Okay, I have one more long division one because i got to go over when there's an exponent um, in the divisor. So I have x squared plus 1. Now, what you have to pay attention to is if there are any missing terms, you need to make sure that you use a 0 for that. So because my x term is missing, I'm going to write that as 0x and then plus 1. Understand these two are the same thing, though. So then my dividend, the one I'm dividing into, is 3x to the fourth plus 2x cubed, no, no missing terms yet, plus x squared. But there should be an x term here, so I'm going to put 0x and then plus 4. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing. Let me move this down a little bit. Okay, so remember I'm looking at the leading coefficients. 
x squared, I need to multiply by something to get to be 3x to the fourth. So that's going to be 3x squared. And when I distribute that back through the divisor, I'm going to get this becomes 3x to the fourth. 0 times anything is 0, so I have 0x to the third. Now that's just going to be 0 plus 3x squared. Before I combine my like terms, remember you have to subtract, so I'm going to change all these signs. If that's confusing, go ahead and erase it. Put a minus. Okay. Um, combine my like, term, like terms. These will cancel out. This becomes 2x cubed. And then this becomes negative 2x squared. I'm going to bring down the 0x, the plus 4. Whoops. And now start it all over again. x squared times what will give me 2x to the third. So that's going to be a 2. And x squared times x will become x to the third. So it's just 2x. I'm going to multiply that back through. If you don't want to include this 0x, it's OK. It's x squared plus 1. Just be aware that when I'm distributing, OK, I have 2x cubed. When I do this one, if you put it here, you're going to make a mistake. Because that's 2x and this is x squared. They're not like terms. So you got to make sure you would be putting it under its like term. Okay, I'm going to change my signs. That becomes minus. This becomes a negative. These cancel out. This comes down to be negative 2x squared. And this becomes negative 2x. Bring my 4 down and start all over. x squared times what will give me negative 2x squared? Well, that's just going to be negative 2 and distribute back in. And this is another thing. I'm multiplying negative 2 with x squared plus 1. Um, make sure if you're not doing this step here and you're not writing that down, that you take this one and you multiply it through that whole divisor. That's OK if you can do that. Without doing this, just make sure you're doing it all correctly. So that's going to be negative 2x squared minus 2. Remember, I'm going to put it with my like terms. And then I need to subtract, so I'm changing the signs. And these cancel out. This becomes negative 2x. This becomes plus 6. So because now I have this leading coefficient is a quadratic term, an x squared, this one is a linear term, just the x. And the one I'm dividing by is larger. I can't get the x squared to become x. That means I'm finished. And this part is my remainder. We're going to write the remainder as a fraction, though. So my quotient here is 3x squared plus 2x minus 2. And then the remainder is going to be plus your remainder. Whoops. Negative 2x plus 6, the remainder divided by the divisor x squared plus 1. Okay, we're going to go over synthetic division now. Um, and with the synthetic division, remember you're writing your coefficients in a line here. So that 3. Remember though, my x to the fourth term is missing, so I have to put a 0 there. You're just writing the coefficients though, not the x terms. So I have 3. The quartic term is missing, so that's a 0, negative 2, positive 1. My linear term is missing, so that's a 0, and then negative 7. Remember to pay attention to the ones that are missing and the signs. 
Okay, this is a negative 2, so that's going to be negative 2 there. Um, what goes in the box? You may have had a box there before, um, but what, what's going to go there is what x would equal. So you set the divisor equal to 0 and solve. So I would have x is equal to negative 2. And that's basically going to be like the divisor for the synthetic division. Okay, is going to be that negative 2. I'm always going to bring this first term down. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm going to bring it down. And then what I do is I multiply this divisor with what's under that line. So negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And if you want to write how you got that, negative 2 times 3. And then I combine or add, and that's going to be negative 6. And then I repeat all of that through. So negative 2 again times negative 6. Well, that becomes positive 12. Combine, that's going to be 10. Multiply, I get negative 20. Combine, that's negative 19. Multiply, that's going to be a positive. 19 times 2 is 38. Multiply by negative 2. Negative times a positive is a negative. That's going to be negative 76. And then combine is going to be negative 80. This last term, remember, is still is my remainder, and my quotient is going to be of a degree one less than what I started with. So because I started with degree five, this is going to be degree four now, and all of these are my new coefficients now. So I start with. 3x to the 4th minus 6x cubed plus 10x squared minus 19x plus 38. And then I'm going to put my remainder minus 83 over what I divided by, not just negative 2, but the whole divisor, which was x plus 2. So here's the quotient. I'm going to go to the last problem. Okay, and what I need to explain is that you cannot use synthetic division if the divisor has a degree higher than 1. Okay, and I, we used to also say that you could not use synthetic division if there was a coefficient on that divisor, like this one. But now I'm going to show you how you can use it when there's a coefficient on the divisor. You still can't use it if it's a degree higher than 1. You would have to use long division in that case. But in this case, I can still use synthetic division. To find out what's going to go in that box on the up, upper left, I set the divisor equal to 0 and solve. And that's going to be my divisor for the long division, or I'm sorry, for the synthetic division. I'm going to put in my coefficients. Do I have any missing terms? x to the third, x squared, x constant. Okay, no missing terms. I like to pay attention to that first, just to make sure what's coming. Okay, I'm going to bring my two down. Multiply with one half, negative one half. Well, negative one half times two is negative one. Combine, that's going to be negative ten. Negative one half times negative ten. Negative times a negative is a positive. And that's going to be positive five. Comes down, that makes twelve times negative one half. That's going to be a negative. Twelve times one half is six. 
combine and that's zero. So my quotient is 2x squared now minus 10x plus 12. Now if you notice this problem was the exact same as the first one I gave you. But if you look back at the first one, the answer is, or the quotient is, x squared minus 5x plus 6. All you have to do, basically, what you have to do, if you're dividing by a number with a coefficient like this, or a linear with a coefficient like this, um, in order to get the actual quotient, you're going to have to factor out the greatest common factor. So when I factor out a 2, I'm left with x squared minus 5x plus 6, and that part is my quotient. Okay, I know this is a little bit longer, sorry about that, but I'll give you a really good joke. How about that? What do you get when you cross Darth Vader's son with a hamburger? The Luke Skywhopper. Uh, 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 uh.